Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris again. So there's been a lot of talk about uh, a developer over at XDA, his name's Dwang, and his ROMs. Um, they're basically just normal donut ROMs, but he has a little tweak, a little hack that he's done to them to make them perform a whole lot better. And people are swearing by it, saying it helps like helps the ROM be the fastest like they've ever seen, and all this other stuff, and it totally creams cyanogen. Well, someone actually took that same RAM hack and they were able to implement it into the, the San Engine kernel and um, his current, or latest release, the 4.2.5, so it kind of takes all the thunder away from Dwang and puts all the, uh, I guess, the spotlight back on San Engine as having the fastest ROM available. If it's one thing the G1 is lacking ab above any other phone, um, the click or the my touch and all that is just the, the RAM, basically. It's a huge RAM issue. Those all have the same CPU as the G1 but those all perform a lot faster, quicker, and better simply because they have more RAM. If you know anything about computers, RAM helps a lot. If you can keep extra apps, especially your most used apps, um, open in the background, what that's gonna do is it's gonna let you open those apps at like super duper quick speed. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install it. So here we go. Okay, so this is my Cyanogen 4.2.5 ROM. It's a lot like the, the video I did on it before, the only difference is this one just has the RAM hack and it just performs a whole lot faster. I mean, you might not notice a difference or not, but I mean, I noticed the difference and we're, t I mean, we could be talking about milliseconds here, but to me that's kind of a big deal. As you can see, all the apps are running really, really quick. Twidroid Pro, maybe not so much. It's a little bit slower just because there's so much more that I have on there. It's, it's a pretty uh, heavy, heavy app. But everything else is, as you can see, just, just zips along. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. I really enjoy it. And a lot of this is due to the RAM hack that I have on the phone. Um, what the RAM hack does, it just gives you an extra 10 megabytes of RAM, what it, and what it takes it from, or where it gets it from, is actually your the, the 3D part of your phone, I guess the GPU, the part that it uses for gaming and um, running uh, 3D games and stuff. So if you have a lot of uh, game apps on your phone, I don't really have any, and especially none that are like 3D or use polygons or anything, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. but. If you uh, do like a lot of gaming on your phone, you might not want to put this RAM hack on there. So, yeah, this is just Sanjin 4.2.5 with the RAM hack. I think you guys need to get this on your phone, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it right now. So first thing you want to do is you want to grab the file that I have in the sidebar, and you're going to put that on the root of your SD card. Um, it's not going to go into any folders. It's going to go into the root of your SD card, and that's what this is here. As you can see, there's my boot image. It is... Um, not any folders, so you don't want to put it in any folders, that's just what putting on the Ruby SD card is. So once it's there, you want to go into Terminal Emulator, and you're going to type this line of commands to flash the, the new boot image and give you the 10 megabytes of extra RAM. Really simple. The first thing you want to type, just to just so you know that it's working and everything, is free. Yours is going to say memory total is going to be like 97 and then some numbers after that. Probably like 97,100 or something. Kind of like mine. Um, when you're done with this, it's going to look, it's going to say 107,000. give you an extra 10,000 bytes more, uh, which is basically 10 megabytes more. So let's uh, type in the command. The command you're going to type is really easy. Type SU. And you might see a little pop-up on the screen saying always allow or deny or something. Just hit always allow because that's your super user permissions. And you're going to type flash underscore image boot backslash SD card boot dot image. And enter. And that's it. When you're done, you're going to type reboot. And when you're done rebooting, you're going to have the Cyanogen ROM with the 10 megabytes of extra RAM. 
So Cyanogen's ROMs were already the fastest around, and with this 10 megabyte RAM hack, it, it actually just helps it perform a lot better and a lot quicker. So with more apps in the background, it allows you to open up your favorite apps even quicker, and it just helps with the overall performance of the ROM. So Cyanogen's ROM was already kicking butt. The 4.2.5 was just like the fastest thing I've ever seen in my life, and now with the 10 megabyte RAM hack. There's really no reason to go anywhere else, unless you want a really nice hero ROM, but if you're looking for speed and compatibility and all that stuff, then uh, Sanjin 4.2.5 with a 10 megabyte RAM hack is definitely going to cream all of the competition, so... Can you get with that? I hope this helps you guys be a little more happy with your G1 and uh, squeeze all the all the juices out of it and um, see the potential it has and just helps you be more happy like me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.